everybody! As you can see by the title of this video, I have some very exciting news. I moved out! Yay! I'm officially living by myself in an apartment and it has been the most adult, weird and biggest learning experience in a very long time and it's also been very expensive. <laughs> it all happened very quickly. I was not expecting it to happen when it did. Ever since I started uni, I was looking at moving a little bit closer because it was very far away from my house, especially when I had ATM classes. It was taking me over an hour to drive. Not only was it so far away, but it was also costing me so much money in petrol. I had to get up super early. So it's been so amazing not having to spend so much time traveling and commuting. And it was just not fun. So I took the plunge and decided to do it. I'm living in a little one bedroom apartment, which is all I wanted because I wanted to move out by myself. I'm also gonna give you a little apartment tour. So exciting. Not properly decorated right now. I just finished exams. So I've just been slowly buying furniture. I'm gonna do an official apartment tour that will be properly filmed and I'll do like a walkthrough and everything when I've actually bought all my furniture and decorated it properly but I still have quite a few things to buy so that'll be in about a month or so so in the meantime I'm gonna give you a little taste of what the place looks like on that note let's get on with the apartment tour so as you walk through the front door this is how it looks so it's just a little one bedroom apartment, one bathroom. So I'm going to start off with the kitchen because that's the first thing that you see when you walk in. This is just a little overview of it. The apartment actually came with the washing machine and the dishwasher, which I'm very, very grateful for because they're probably two of the most expensive things and I didn't have to buy them. So very, very grateful for that. Thank you to my landlord. On my little windowsill, I just have some devil's ivy that I'm trying to grow and my Swiss cheese plant which isn't doing too well to be honest I didn't have any jars left so I just put it in a tomato sauce jar <laughs> in this corner here I just have my kettle my toaster and my Nutribullet that I use for my breakfast smoothies oh I'm also going to show you my tea cupboard which I just have above here it's not very well organized so please don't judge me but I just have all my tea in here oh no <laughs> falling. I don't know what it is but ever since I've moved out I've just been really loving drinking tea. <laughs> I've just become a very avid and enthusiastic tea drinker so getting quite the collection of teas. <laughs> Some of you may be wondering where my fridge is. Let me show you. Ta-da! This angle doesn't work. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> my fridge is in the cupboard. How handy is that? And then I also have a freezer. This is the room that I need to do a lot more work on. It's just very basic right now. So to the right in this little corner thing, I just have a table. These are some flowers that I tried to salvage. They're a little bit on the dead side right now, but I'm still gonna keep them there because I'm very grateful for them. And then I just have a bunch of shelves above here as well. I have a bunch of Pinterest boards of what to put on my shelves because there's just a lot of shelves that I have to work with. <laughs> So I need to get really creative. I just have some more storage up here as well. And I have my little figgle fig leaf, which I've named Fred. Love you, Fred. And then this is my sofa. I need to buy a proper blanket that matches. This one's just from Kmart that's really soft, but doesn't go at all with my furnishings. <laughs> so I'm on the hunt for one of those. These cushions are from Target. They took me ages to find and I'm still not 100% happy with them but they'll do for now. I don't know what it is about cushions but cushions are just so expensive. I went into Pottery Barn and their cushions were like $170. What? And then I just have a little glass coffee table which I want to decorate really nicely and have a nice little setup on here but right now I just have a diffuser with some mats for when I have drinks. And then I have my TV here um, and my PlayStation and then just this plant that I took from my house which just adds a little bit of green to the place and then two books <laughs> they look so lonely <laughs> I need to definitely do something with these shelves because they look very sad at the moment <laughs> and then I have my balcony I need to be really careful with showing my balcony because it kind of gives away my location so I'm just gonna step back a little bit <laughs> really excited for what I can do with this balcony it is quite a small space but I'm excited to put just like a little table and a little chair and sit out there in summer because in the mornings it gets the sun which is so nice. So the decking that's currently on my balcony didn't actually come with the apartment. I bought it from Ikea because the floor underneath wasn't that nice as you can probably see from the wall. The wall isn't too nice either. So I'm thinking of putting a little bamboo strip 
along the wall and then putting little fairy lights. I think that would look really nice. I'm just so excited for summer because it means I can sit outside when I wake up in the morning and drink tea. I also really want to buy a little floor lamp to put here, but they've been sold out in Ikea for a little while, so I've just got to hold out for a little while longer. <laughs> so that is my living room slash kitchen. Now onto the bedroom, which you can already kind of see from over here. You may be a little bit confused by this window. When I first came to view the apartment, I was really confused by this window, but the more I live here, the more it makes sense because obviously it's only a one bedroom apartment. So usually you wouldn't really have anyone else living here. So it doesn't really matter if you can see the bedroom, but it just makes so much sense because it brings so much light into the apartment. It also opens it up a lot more because I feel like if it wasn't there, it would just be very closed off. And now we are on to the bedroom, which once again, isn't complete at all, but it's a work in progress. So this is what it looks like. One of the things that I fell in love with when I came to look at the apartment was the desk area because in the pictures online, it didn't actually show it. So I was so happy when I came in and it had a desk. I was like, oh my God, yay. I got super lucky. The bed actually came with the apartment because the apartment's new. The lady just had a free bed. <laughs> that no one had used so I was like okay I'll take it also very comfy too this is the side that I sleep on um so on my bedside table I just have my Amazon Alexa Alexa hello all right <laughs> that's so cute I've never noticed that before it's like a little bear waving <laughs> and then I just have this little devil's ivy lamp I want to do something with this corner here but I'm not too sure what yet and then to this side same kind of thing, same bedside table. These two doors on the side are my wardrobes. They are a little bit small and most of my clothes are still at my parents' house. So I've kind of just been wearing the same few outfits for the past few weeks. So I need to desperately bring some of my stuff over. Then I just have some more stuff in here. And then I have my desk area, which has been so good for uni. So I just have my iMac on here and then my laptop. And then I invested in a printer that I've just hid under my desk. This is how I'm gonna look when I'm doing my uni assignment at my desk. It's so exciting. And I ended up buying the same chair that I have as my dining chairs, just so if a third person comes for dinner or something, I have an identical chair. Lastly, we are on to the bathroom. Let's go. As you walk to the left, I have my bathroom door. I also have this full length mirror as well. Hello. And this is the bathroom. Ta-da. As you can see, it's quite small, but it's actually a really, really nice size. I absolutely love it. It's very simple, but very modern. I just really, really love it. This is how it looks. I just have a little bath mat on the floor and then all my stuff in the shower. I've been blessed with two shower heads. I've got a little rain head one and then a more like high pressure one. Does anyone else brush their teeth in the shower? Because I brush my teeth in the shower and it's honestly the most convenient thing ever. Every time I tell someone that I do that, they're always like, no, that's really weird. So please let me know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> and I just have towels, towels for the shower and then like hand towels, soap dispenser, a little fake rosemary plant and some hand cream, my Swiss cheese plant, which you saw the clippings of in my kitchen. <laughs> that aren't doing too well, but this one is doing okay. I don't know what this plant's called, but I really like it. It's got little stripes of pink on it. I got it as a birthday present a few years ago, and I'm very happy that I haven't killed it yet. <laughs> and then I just have a Christmas under the mistletoe glass house candle that I also got as a present, but it smells amazing. I can't describe what it smells like, but it smells really good. You just have to trust me. And then toilet paper, <laughs> my bin, and my toilet. <laughs> That's my bathroom. And then when you walk back out, we're back in the bedroom. And then as you walk back out here, we are back into the living room. Woo! Just a little behind the scenes. I was actually doing some washing <laughs> before I filmed this video. So I had to hide my washing basket and my, what's this called? A washing rack, drying rack. I don't know. So I had to move it around and pretend like I wasn't just doing the washing. I just ruined my little secret. <laughs> this is my apartment. I love it. And I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that I was able 
to find this place. So that was my apartment tour. This is a really quick side note as well. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you guys have given me. I know I haven't uploaded in a very long time. I've just been very overwhelmed with everything that's going on right now. I finally feel like I can film again and I'm finally feeling like my old self again. So it's been really good to be able to sit down and actually film this. I've missed it a lot. Also very, very grateful that I'm able to share these chapters of my life with you and it's so bizarre that people actually care and are excited for me and I just want to say that I'm so so grateful and I really 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 do appreciate it and I hope that you're all doing well and your families are doing well. Now that I've moved out it means that I can film a lot more and I have a lot more freedom of when I can film and what I can film so if you have any video ideas please feel free to let me know. It's also One Direction's 10 year anniversary so Major shout out to 1D, love you, happy 10 years, please get back together, I would really really appreciate it and yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you have the best day and the best week and I wish you all the best. It's not a video if I don't say this, I shall see you in my next video, of course, if you want to watch my next video. Goodbye! Mwah.